Hello and welcome back to Okta Support video series. Today we will show best practices when setting up authentication policies and global session policies for the Okta Identity Engine. This can be done by leveraging the Okta Adaptive MFA options, such as behavior detection, network zones, device assurance policies, device integration, and authenticators. First, we will do a short summary of them all. Behavior detection can be based on four criteria, location, IP, device, and velocity. It compares the authentication request to previous successful once bases on the number specified in the behavior. Please note that the behavior is done based on cookies. If the cookies are not present, this will result in new behavior. This is most common in the new device behavior. If the request doesn't have the device token due to the user clearing data and cookies, or the request is make through a API call or JavaScript. Network zones can be used to limit a IP range or a geolocation, where we can set a different behavior when authentication as well as block IPs or countries from accessing Okta. This can be helpful since the network zone can block the access to your Okta tenant before reaching the Okta login page. Device Assurance Policy is used to specify any criteria for the device to access your Okta tenant, such as operating system version, disk encryption, if Windows Hello is set up or screen lock with or without biometrics for MacOS, if the mobile device is rooted or jailbroken. Device integration is used if we wish to set up an endpoint security such as Windows Security Center or CrowdStrike to gather a ZTA score for that device that can be used in the authentication policy rule with a custom expression. Please refer to our EDR signals for custom expressions document the that. The device integration can be used also to leverage an MDM solution to deploy a certificate that will show the device as managed in Okta as well as establishing the certificate authority that will be used for that certificate. Authenticators are factors that can be set up to prompt the user for enrollment and be used for multi-factor authentication. When setting the global session policy and authentication policy, we will need to take into consideration the best experience for the inducer as well as the security concerns. It's considered best practice have a more seamless authentication process in already known device and IPs such as in corporate network zone and have a stricter authentication process from unknown devices or locations that are not normally used. As an example, we can have a global session policy with two or more rules. One, if the user is accessing Okta from the corporate network, they can establish a session with any factor and multi-factor authentication is not required. But if any of the behaviors is new, we can say that multi-factor authentication is required as well if the user is accessing Okta outside of the corporate network zone or country. The global session policy will be evaluated only when establishing an Okta session and it will last based on the session management settings. The seamless authentication flow is where the global session policy and the authentication policy require only one factor to satisfy them both, such as establishing the global session with any factor and authenticate policy requiring one factor. The best example is authenticating with Okta Verify FastPass, but this is better used for managed devices, otherwise anyone can set up Okta Verify on their device and after the initial enrollment and access Okta, without any additional verification. This can also be used for the scenario where users are accessing Okta from the corporation network zone.
We recommend leveraging other authentication methods apart from password or email, since passwords and emails are less securest and more often the source of security breach due to phishing attempt or brutal force attacks, or limit the access in Okta to a user authenticating with only their password. We recommend leveraging factors that are device-bound, hardware-protected, phishing-resistant or biometrics, as well as have strict conditions to enroll new factors for users, such as the require phishing-resistant authenticator, to enroll additional authenticators feature flag, as well as a strict password policy that requires user must verify with another factor before changing their password or when selecting the forget password option. Thank you for watching. For more Okta support videos, check out the Okta support playlist right here on the Okta YouTube channel.